Hey everybody, I'm Chris. This is my shop partner Oots, and today we're going to be building a big eight foot wide sign. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's get started. So I'm making this sign for a good buddy of mine who owns Pine Hill Sportsman's Club, which is a pheasant hunting preserve. It's a place that Oots and I often guide at and somewhere that I really enjoy. So talking to him, we thought it'd be time to replace the old sign, which you can see here. I've got my hands on this really cool, really weathered barn wood. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to run it through the table saw at different widths. And then I'm going to glue it and nail it down to a sheet of MDO plywood. And that's going to be the backdrop of the sign. Now MDO stands for medium density overlay. And instead of a veneer laminated to each side of the plywood, it's a resin impregnated fiber surface. And it's ideal for exterior work and perfect for anything that you'll be putting paint on. Now that all my boards are glued and nailed down, I just snapped a chalk line and squared off each edge with a circular saw. I want the background of this sign to have a nice deep color, so I have this dark brown latex exterior paint, and I'm gonna give it three coats, and I'm really flooding all the cracks in between the boards, so I really want these boards to be sealed really nice against the weather. Now on my other sheet of MDO, I'm gonna lay out the logo that I'll be cutting out on the bandsaw, and I got this logo printed out very large like this using Microsoft Paint. Really old school and really barbaric compared to all the different graphic technology and software out there nowadays, but I don't know how to use any of that stuff, so I was able to figure out how to do it in paint, and there's a printing option that allows you to print it on several different pieces of paper, and so that's what I did. Now I'm just gonna cut these shapes and letters out and use some spray adhesive to stick it to the MDO. Then I'll take a jigsaw, cut those out, and then take it over to the bandsaw to finish cutting out all the individual letters, which I'll add was a lot of cutting. So this is a little tip that I saw watching one of Jimmy Darista's videos on uh, band saws and essentially I'm just gluing down with some hot glue a board that I cut a saw kerf in and it gives me a zero clearance insert. Uh, later on when I do the really small letters that helps quite a bit. I'll drill a hole in all the areas that I can't get to with the bandsaw, and I'll take my fret saw and cut all these pieces out. I'll take some small files and try to clean up 
any rough areas that are left from the saw blades. The best part of the sign is the fact that there'll be a silhouette of Boots on there. Boots is a German versatile hunting breed called the Deutsch Drahtar. The owner of Pine Hill also has Drahtars, and we both agreed that the sign wouldn't be complete without at least one of those dogs on there. Now we'll do a little bit more sanding, um, especially on some of the bigger letters, making sure all the edges are smooth and so the saw marks are removed. Now we'll begin painting everything, and for the dogs and some of the shapes, I'm going to have kind of the, the border, the edge, painted black, and then I'll paint the top white later on, so the black will act as a nice little shadow. For the main logo part, I'm going to paint all the pieces a solid color each. I think that'll end up looking really nice. I have the border on there now and now I'm just trying to lay out all the pieces and get everything aligned where I want it before I glue and nail everything down. To attach everything I'm using a combination of goop which is uh, a flexible adhesive that's rated for outdoors and nailing everything down with a brad nail. I'm going to go back over everything with some spackle and fill in all the holes. Then I'll sand it all off and repaint everything. Now this was the part that I was really unsure about how it was going to turn out. My idea was to paint black so that it would have that shadow and then paint the white over top. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It took about four different coats, but it ultimately looked really nice. Now I'm going to put down some aluminum foil tape to the top and the sides and my thoughts here is that this will kind of act as some flashing so that water can't get down into the top or the sides and just sit there. I'm confident that the front is nice and sealed up from the paint and then I'll also seal it again later but this will help water from getting in behind it. Now I'm just going to attach the border which I painted black off scene. Then I filled all those holes and now I'm going back over top of that with some more black paint. Now as one final measure of protection, I'm adding a polyacrylic clear satin top coat. And this will help further seal the wood and protect it from the weather and the elements. Well everyone, here's the final sign. I think it turned out amazing. I'm really happy with everything. If you like this video and like my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a comment. Let me know what you think. If there's any things I could have done to improve, I'd love to hear it. So thanks so much for watching guys. You have a good one. See ya.